fruit. That one of the revival that we expect to see in the end time is the revival of true worship. God speaking said he will rebuild the tabernacle of David that is falling down. That tabernacle was a tabernacle of worship. Church attendance is plenty, but true worship is scarce. Those who ask God for things are many, but those who are true worshippers are scarce. But I trust God that these brief sessions will usher us into the dimension of true worship. What does true worship constitute? Two things. First is this worship from the heart. And second, it is worshipped by light. That is what it means, spirit and truth. Worship from the heart. Worship that is not anchored on what I am looking for from God. Worship that is not centered on what I want God to do for me. Worship that is unconditional from the heart. Worship not because of what he does necessarily, but because of who he is. Worship from the heart. And then worship with light, with understanding. He said, praise ye the Lord with understanding. Praise him with understanding. I think that would be Psalm 47 verse 7. With understanding. Sing ye praises with under, with light, knowing who we are dealing with. God is looking for true worshippers. Those who came to church and left without asking anything. It wasn't a miracle that brought them. And there is value in true worship. What is the value? Two things I'll say. One, divine attention. And two, divine habitation. He said, the father seeketh such. You get his attention when you give him pure devotion and adoration. Everybody else is looking for God. But God is looking for the true worshiper. The Father seeketh such. When you pray, you are looking for God. When you worship from the heart, God begins to look for you. And God looks for you means, is there any, any issue? Is there something I can do for this girl? Is there something I can do for this boy? Divine attention and divine habitation. A woman, the Greek Syrophoenician, was looking for Jesus' attention in John chapter, in Matthew chapter 15. Come heal my servant, my, 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 my daughter. And, his, and, the, and, 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 and he said, it's not good to give the children's bread to dogs. Then the Bible says she laid down and worshipped. She bowed and worshipped him and made that statement. Jesus said it is done. 
she was just making ordinary demands before. But when she added worship to insight, answer was instant. To mean to do. I like you to worship him from the heart. When we pray, God hears. Let's look at it from Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. And behold, the woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their, the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. We saw the combination of worship and insight that made the miracles instant. In Matthew chapter 8, verse, verse 1, when he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him, but behold, there came a leper and worshipped, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. Immediately, his leprosy was saved. There were many people that were there. Crowd, multitude, but only one came and fell in worship. And by falling in that worship, he secured instant attention. So true worship will do for you what ordinary prayer may not do. And that is why we are here today. I'd like you to forget about everything that is an issue and worship him from the heart. Can we stand up on our feet? It's a charge. The real thing we came for is worship, but just to give us the fuel for that worship. Lift your hands and let us worship him now.